Greetings, I'm Geo Fatboy. I make shaving videos and sell shaving supplies. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving needs. Have a great shave, have a great day. Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. Today's razor review, the Rockwell 6C adjustable double-edged safety razor. It comes in this nice package, excellent for gift giving. It's got instructions on the back. Let's open it up and have a look. The unboxing, half the fun of getting something. Take it out. That's what it looks like. The carton that it comes in, an instruction sheet right here, and it's a fitted chipboard type paper, and then the razor and the plates, which make the adjustments, are on the inside right there. Also comes with a five pack of Rockwell blades. It's stowed comfortably in there, but let's take it out and have a look at it. This razor comes in a white chrome finish and also a gunmetal finish. Both very attractive looking razors. Pretty sturdy razors. We'll look at the white chrome. This is the one I'll deal with today. The white chrome has a highly polished finish. It's very shiny. Looks very nice. Chrome all the way up at the top, the head, and then chrome right below the head, then knurling on the handle, a smooth chrome band, more knurling, and a small smooth band right there in the middle and then at the bottom it's blank at the bottom no logo on the bottom this razor weighs in at 3.5 ounces or 99 grams and the overall length from top to bottom is 3.8 inches or 97 millimeters it is cast from high-end chromed zinc alloys with a striking white chrome finish so it's a sharp looking razor the knurling on the handle i give it like eight out of ten it's not as precise as, say, an alpha handle, but it does give you a good grip. Let's disassemble. It's a three-piece razor. Remove the handle, and then you have your adjustment bar right here, and then the top cap. They call it an adjustable razor, but in my opinion, not truly adjustable in the sense of the word adjustable, say, as other razors like the Model T or Gillette Fat Boy, where you spin the dial. This doesn't work that way you flip the plate on this. All these plates are numbered, and then you flip the plate, and that will give you the desired shave that you want on any given day. So I'm going to shave with, this will be a complete Rockwell shave, so let's use a Rockwell blade as well. Remove it from the paper. These come double wrapped, which you don't see that often. Here's a look at the blade, right there, Rockwell. It says Rockwell razors right on it. So we'll drop that over the post and the two pins, like so. And then the plate that I'm starting with is the number six plate. So I'll install that with the number facing out towards the handle. And then we'll reassemble the handle. And to be honest, this, the threading on this, it's okay, not the greatest. I feel a little bit of pushback when you're trying to tighten it down. Some handles you can screw on and they're mated perfectly for each other. The first time you loosen and tighten the razor, it's it's got a little bit of roughness to it, but then after you remove it and reinstall it a couple times, the threads become more mated for each other and then it works much better. It's a lot smoother after you unscrew it and reassemble it a couple times. Here's a look at the blade reveal. Let's check it. Oh, it's perfect on both sides. You can see that. So. When you have it assembled, the number that's facing out, which I have R6, if you can see that, R6, that's the side you're shaving with. So let's talk about the plates for a minute. Here's the instruction sheet that comes with it. As far as the plates go, six different plates, numbered one, two, three, four, five, six. Size one is for sensitive skin. Size two, somewhat sensitive skin. Three, average skin. Four, hardier skin. Five, hardy skin, coarse facial hair. And then six, hardy skin, coarse facial hair. Five and six are the same. <laughs> I, guess, I guess six should be more hardy facial hair. How does that sound? Five and six, let me read it again. Five, hardy skin, coarse facial hair. Six, hardy skin, coarse facial hair. Okay, so they're both the same, but I'm guessing six is a little bit more aggressive. Let's see what else is on this on the other side. Oh, it just goes over the, uh, the adjustment feature. The number you see on the underside of your assembled razor is the size you are shaving with. I will use all Rockwell products today. I'm going to use Rockwell 
Barbershop Shaving Cream. Before that, Rockwell Pre-Shave Oil. And then after that, the Shave Nation Wide Stick Alum Block. And then after that, Rockwell Barbershop Aftershave Balm. So this still will take a few minutes. We're not going to blaze through this. It'll take a little while. So get a cup of coffee and uh, put your feet up and relax. I'll use the Shave Nation Resin Brush. This is a fine badger brush, nice short loft. If you don't like a brush that splays over and flattens out on you, this will be perfect for you. I like brushes like this. It's pretty stiff, but the tips are soft and it lathers like a monster, no problem. Feels very comfortable in the hand and this comes in a bunch of different colors. We'll put links down below the video where it says show more and you can check out all these different items. If you wanna pick them up, you can do so right there or go to shavenation.com Enter what you need in the search box and it'll pop right up. Okay, let's get our shave on. Marble cup, hot water. Here's the brush. That's what it looks like when it's dry. We'll drop it right in there. Here are those bubbles. Soaking up some water, retaining that moisture. Let that sit for a minute. Let's open up our Rockwell Barbershop Shaving Cream. There's a look at it. Protects against razor burn with nourishing natural extracts, leaving skin smooth and refreshed. Let's see what it says on the bottom. Rockwell Barbershop Shaving Cream. Has notes of leather, neroli, anise, lilac, and cedar. A scent reminiscent of the classic barbershop designed for the modern gentleman. Let's crack it open. Hmm, excellent. We'll spoon a little bit out. About that much. A lather up in my Shave Nation ceramic lather shaving bowl with a lather spot at the bottom. Let's warm it up with some hot water. It's ceramic stone so it does retain some heat and we'll drop the shaving cream right down into the bottom. Just like that. Take the brush out of the water, shake off the bulk of the water and we'll go right in here and see if we can mix a lather. Push the tips down into the lather spot at the bottom and you'll see the foam cream starts coming up around the edges. Smells very, very nice. Not even 15, 20 seconds. Got lots of, lots of lather. Look at that. I think that's enough. I think that'll do it for us. A couple, three passes. Look at that. Wow. Okay. All right. I'll warm up my face. We'll get right to the shave. All right. First thing, we'll apply some Rockwell Barbershop pre-shave oil. Remove the cap on this. A couple drops. Let's see how it comes out. All right. You get, not that easy. You got to Got to really work on it a little bit to get it to come out. Okay, massage that right into the beard. And the reason I'm starting with the number six plate is because I have a pretty heavy beard growth, as you can see. So massage that oil right in. Now we'll go right to the shaving cream and apply it directly over the pre-shave. Here we go. Starting on the right side and just work our way across. Drive it into the beard, soften the whiskers, hydrate, elevate, get them prepared for the shave to come. Under the nose. Figure eight, smooth everything out. I have to say it, the Zen moment of the shave right here. Set the brush down, clear the runways so we can see our sideburns. All right, here we go, the Rockwell 6C double edge adjustable safety razor in white chrome or gunmetal finish. Here's a look at both. I'm using the white chrome, loaded with the Rockwell blade. Let's temper it under the hot water just to warm it up. We'll start on the right side, cut that sideburn, perpendicular, tilt slightly out, find that angle. So the sixth plate, most aggressive plate, will remove the bulk of the beard quickly 
and then we'll lower the plate numbers as we go for our subsequent passes. Pretty aggressive shaving right here. You can see, removed my heavy beard growth easily. One side is filled, we'll flip to the other side. Right down the neckline. Very nice. Now both sides are filled. Lots of stubble on there. Let's rinse it. It's got a good heft to it. Feels good in the hand. The handle is a tad short, but you can still get it down in the palm. Okay, left side. Tilt the handle slightly outward and find that angle. Cut that sideburn. Flip it over. Aggressive, but smooth. This number six plate, very nice. Okay, both sides filled up, let's rinse that. Rinses out very easily. Now the mustache, scoop right under the nose. Yeah, for being so aggressive, it does shave very smooth and feels good in the hand. You can grip it easily with that knurling on the handle. And we'll do a quick rinse, but if feel around. If you're smooth enough, you can be done right here. You won't have to perform any more passes, but I'm gonna go a little more. Just so we can show you how to do the adjustment, I'll do a quick rinse. Okay, now here's the part I don't really like. You wanna switch the plate, so your hands are wet, the razor's wet, so I would say just use a towel and grab onto it so you don't slice your fingers. Remove the handle again. So much easier with the regular adjustable where you just spin the knob, but you have to go through this to flip the plate. So that's the five and six. So I'll go six, three, and one. So here's the three, one plate. I'll put the three on here. Now the three is facing out. So this will be less aggressive shaving. This will be more moderate mid-range shaving right here. The three plate. Let's relather. Figure eight. Clear the runways again. The three is now facing out. We'll shave with it that way. We'll go across the grain. Still kind of aggressive for the three. I can feel it. And some audible feedback too. Backhand it. Left. Let's rinse that. Now against the grain on the neck. Very good. Rinse that. Now across the mustache area. Start with the corner. up under the nose on an angle, and then lay it flat. Okay, very nice. Rinse that. Now a quick face rinse, and again, if you're done now, you can stop. I'll do one more. Now we're gonna switch. We're gonna flip this plate. So I'll remove the handle, remove the plate, and just flip it over so that the one is exposed. and then reassemble. Blade reveal still perfect no matter what plate you put in there. So now we're gonna shave a final pass, a finishing pass with the number one plate. Let's re-lather. 
Plenty of lather for several more passes. All right, let's do a final finishing pass with the number one plate. Against the grain on everything. Oh yeah, very smooth with this. Now you can whip it around because this plate is very mild. All right, against the grain here. Just ride the cap. Lay it so the round portion touches, but tilt the handle slightly up. And as soon as it catches, that's where you want to be. That's the sweet spot right there. This makes your cheeks baby smooth. Glass-like finish right here. Excellent. Okay, let's rinse that. Now the other side, same way. Rounded, tilt slightly up till it catches. Very good. Now the chin area. I haven't had breakfast yet, if you're hearing my stomach growl. Okay, very mild. Going against the grain, very mild. Let's rinse that. Now you have an option. You can go from the nose out, across, or you can go against. Let's go against. Just take it slow so you don't go up into your nose. You want to stop just short of your filtrum area up there. Okay, perfectly smooth right here. Little spot. There we go. Beautiful. Very nice and smooth. Okay, so I went from several days worth of beard growth. Look at that. Baby smooth finish. No cuts, no nicks. Using the 6-3-1 method. Some people say they like to go one, three, six. That doesn't make sense to me. A final rinse with cold water. Now let's take our Shave Nation wide stick Allen block, remove the cap, glide that all around. Cover all the areas that you shaved. You might get a little stinging, but no, I'm not getting any. This is very smooth. This is an excellent finish to your shave right here. It's alum, comes from the earth, a natural product, and it seals off your pores. If you did get any micro nicks, any small weepers or anything, it'll seal those off as well. But we're baby smooth right here, very nice. Let that soak in for about 30 seconds and then rinse it off. Let's pat the face dry. Rockwell Barbershop Aftershave Balm. Let's get some of this out. Went flying everywhere. <laughs> hit the mirror, hit my arm. Okay, about that much. It's like shrapnel. All right, massage that in. That smells nice. Hit the forehead. Not super thick, this balm. Closer to a balmy lotion, I should say. Okay, look at that, baby smooth. Cheeks, neck, chin, mustache area, everything perfect. Okay, here's a final look at the razor, the Rockwell 6C. There is another version called the 6S, which is full on stainless steel. This one's not stainless steel. As I said, it's white chrome or gunmetal. Here's the gunmetal. So white chrome, gunmetal, either way. The other version is stainless steel. You can check that out as well. And I went, I had heavy beard growth, so that's the reason I went 631. I started with the most aggressive plate, then switched to the medium plate, and then won the finishing pass with the number one plate. Seemed to work very well. No nicks, no cuts. A very nice shave obtained from the Rockwell 6C. 
I like the white chrome, nice smooth finish, gleaming chrome, we love that. And, oh, as I said, I went 631, but some people, they like to go 136, so I'm told. To me, that's counterintuitive, doesn't make sense. I like to remove the bulk of the beard with the six heaviest, and then go to the three, and then go to the one for the finishing pass. That's what makes sense to me. If you do it the other way, let me know why down below. Let me read to you what they say about this razor. It says a fully adjustable razor for any skin type and stubble length. So you get a close, comfortable shave every time. Never waste money on cartridges or subscription shave clubs again. And make shaving something to look forward to with Rockwell's adjustable, precision engineered, optimized blade angles. Say goodbye to razor burn for good and say hello to the closest, most comfortable shave of your life. Bullet points. Eliminates shaving irritation and ingrown hairs for a close, comfortable shave every time. Patented six levels of shaving freedom to ensure that anyone can redefine the closeness, smoothness, and comfort of their shave. Cast from premium high-end chrome zinc alloys with a striking white chrome finish. Precision engineered blade angles provide the ultimate shaving experience. Perfectly weighted and balanced through unparalleled craftsmanship for intuitive handling and effortless glide. Approximate dimensions, weight 3.5 ounces or 99 grams, length 3.8 inches or 97 millimeters. Shave Nation item number SN2255. As I said before, if you wanna pick up any of these items, just click down below the video where it says show more and you can grab them right there or go to shavenation.com, enter what you need in the search box, it'll pop right up. All these products perform quite well. The Rockwell Shaving Cream, right here, and then the Rockwell Pre-Shave, not in that order, but they were used. And then the Rockwell Aftershave Balm, Shave Nation Wide Stick Allen Block, Rockwell Blade performed quite well. I would put it somewhere like uh, maybe Derby Astra, right in that range. Felt good to me, smooth, comfortable, no nicks, no cuts. A great shave provided by these Rockwell blades. The Shave Nation Polished Resin Brush. No problem getting enough lather for two, three, four passes in the Shave Nation Ceramic Bowl. No worries whatsoever. All right, that about sums it up. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do me a favor before I head out. Smash that subscribe button down there and then click the bell up there and then click all so you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos They'll go right to your inbox and you won't miss any. Thank you very much for watching. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Starting up. Uh oh, looks like I have a four o'clock shadow. Gotta go to ShaveNation.com. Have a great shave. Have a great day.